very relaxing to to think that you are really not responsible for the end or for the means that that if God has given you this end of, of forgiving and waking up from this dream that God would not give you the end, God would not give you a plan without the means. So it's like it's all part of a package. And it's so different from the human condition where whenever we think of things in the world, personal goals or things we want to happen and trying to make happen, then we have to come up with the means. That's just how it works in the world. You decide the end and you decide you have to make the means happen. And spiritual awakening is just the opposite of that. You don't have to be concerned about how the means will arrive. That was probably the, one of the hardest things for me to loosen from, because I was I was way, raised with the Protestant work ethic, and I was raised very in, it was very conditioned that you go after things, you have pursuits, you have goals, you have ambitions, and then you work very hard and you work hard and you have to really work hard to get the means to line up. And sometimes you succeed and sometimes you fail. That was just the formula. And then, yeah, on the spiritual journey, you know, when I first made, made it available, said to the Spirit, I'm available, I'm yours now and everything, then it would show up very spontaneously, but like my first trip, so to speak, you know, out of the United States and Canada area was down to Argentina and yeah, frequent flyer miles were donated, first class, ejecutiva, business class, and you know, it's just sipping wine, flying in first class, going, well, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> and, and three people with me, because some of you know the story, you know, the, a man named David was walking with me in a park in like January, and I was just beginning a tour and with Resta, and um, you know, he just, he said, you should, you should go to other countries. And I said, oh, I've never considered that. And he said, you should, then he started talking about Argentina after I mentioned that somebody had written saying they wanted some rest of CDs. And yeah, a, f a few weeks, several weeks later, it was, I was on my way with three others. This man had won a, a frequent flyer contest. He won a million frequent flyer miles um, from the South American um, you know, contest that he entered about go stay at these hotels and, you know, with a bunch of other people that were doing, that was the grand prize, a million. So he had so many frequent flyer miles he didn't even know what to do with them. So he flew himself, me, Carrie, and Resta, uh, all four of us down to South America and everything was taken care of. Places to stay, 19 consecutive gatherings like this on 19 consecutive days, it was just a whirlwind. I had no hand in it, it just was all, it all dropped in my lap, including the flyer miles and everything. So that's what I mean by the means are handled. If you really give yourself over to this purpose, you can, you can count, the, count on the means being there. Not that you personally will have a hand in arranging the means, but it's, it's very much, it's more like a fairy tale. It has a real strong fairy tale quality that everything just shows up and shows up and shows up and you know, it's it's really like Michael's balloon last night, the desire. You know, if your desire is really strong for for peace and love and God and everything, if you just it's amazing, if you focus your mind on that, then absolutely everything will just completely line up. The mind is that powerful. So if you put your mind in that way, then things will get debts will get taken care of, if you need plane tickets, if you need anything, you know, if you know, it used to be, I had a time in my life where I lived really on the edge, where I really never had much money at all in my uh, bank account. And uh, I didn't pay much attention to it either, because it was so low, it was so small anyway, it would, just, I, it would just go up and down a little bit, but it was very close to zero most of the time. But then I got more and more into the miracles, and it's like, yeah, yeah, that doesn't even matter. I, I didn't have to pay attention to my checking account. I know there was a time where we went to Lisa's and she had always pushed it off and had other people manage her money. So she hadn't man uh, balanced the checkbook for years, but it was more out of a sense of fear mm -hmm. and denial. For me, I, there wasn't much in there anyway and I didn't really care much about it. It just seemed to be whatever I needed was there. But, but that's, 
that's a, an important thing to keep in mind because the ego uses the fear and the scarcity and the lack to try to scare you from even taking the steps and following your prompts. It's going to try to throw everything to turn, you know, a tiny little worry into like a mountain so that it'll, it will shut you down. It, wants you, it doesn't want you to even make a move, you know, towards, towards God because it's very afraid it will be gone if that happens. So it, you know, throws up all kinds of, of obstacles. But we've come to really see how, how beautifully everything is orchestrated and, uh, you know, the, whatever you need. It's, it's also asking, you know, if, you, if you're on this journey and you're deeply loved and you know you have loved ones that care for you and, and are just praying and hoping for you to take every step on this great journey, you know, to experience God. You know, it's good to let go of the pride around asking. Sometimes there's pride of asking for help. And it doesn't matter, we're not just talking about friends or family, but even amongst ourselves, that's how it works. You know, we, we say our doors are open, call, write, Skype, text, Facebook, Facebook message, just send something through in some way and just say, oh, I'm start, I'm, I want to pray on my next step and I, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, and and yeah, then we just go into prayer together, and if we can help out in any way at all, we will, because it's such a glorious purpose, you know, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the only purpose <laughs> that it's worth giving your heart to. So we just go into that prayer, and and uh, yeah, miracles are natural, when, when they do not occur, something has gone wrong, <laughs> we, we just expect lots of miracles every day, you know, and if there seems to be a glitch, it's like, oh, let's take a moment to pray and let's join together on that and we have a meeting of the minds and then it's beautiful. It's just given.